from all over the world. And this year, we've got a strong contingent from down under who are truly charming. Some might think that traveling to Delaware, Ohio to compete in the $600,000 Little Brown Jug is going a bit too far. But trainer Bruce Nichols knows it's a chance to make history. Everybody wants to have a horse in the jug. And you know, the, the Bamfords come all the way from Australia. They're the first ones to ever have a horse in the jug. And you know, they're excited about it. And uh, to win that Little Brown Jug, uh, I don't know. I don't think I can make a speech afterwards. Aussie owner Colleen Bamford thinks traveling halfway around the world is a small price to pay for the experience. It takes a day and a half to get here, but um, back in Australia, this is, the, I mean, there's bigger races here, but back in Australia, this is probably the most famous race in America for standard bred horses. But reaching out to Australia means taking advantage of the latest in technology, including surfing the net. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, it's very easy to communicate uh, clear over in Australia with the fax machine and phones, you know, and, uh, and the internet by, you know, you're just like you're right on top of it all the time. If I get up one morning and there's not a fax there from Bruce, I'm disappointed. Uh, so, yeah, we talk a lot and my phone bill is astronomical. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, the communication is sensational. We know what's happening. I feel like I'm here. A delegation of 40 supporters from down under has taken over the role of cheerleaders here at the Delaware County Fairgrounds. The Little Brown Jug first contested in 1946, and today the tradition continues. Coming up.